Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lucky Looter. It is the morning of day 16. I've got four skill points to spend here this morning. We're going to go into Daring Adventurer level 3, which will give us additional choices for quest rewards and more dukes for completing them. And let's go into Strength level 6. Now, unfortunately, we have to get it to level 7 to get more... Stamina or go into Skull Crusher again. So I'm just going to go into Boomstick level 2 with that last point. All right, let's hit the road. First place we are going is back to the base. I've got an idea on how we can prevent cops from destroying the ladder. Let's hope it works. Here we are. And the first thing we want to do is some repair work and upgrading. I brought steel with me so we can repair the ladder. It didn't take too much damage, but definitely want to get it back up to 100%. Uh, I brought cobblestone and concrete mixed with me as well so we can get these blocks upgraded to concrete. And that's all we'll worry about for now. Okay, my initial idea involved plates. And we're going to stick with my initial idea and just add to it because originally I was just going to do this. Plates in the front of the ladder Maybe we should only go up three high for now. We can always go up higher if we want to. Okay, and now we want to put plates on one of the sides. We got to get this out of the way. There we go. And now upgrade these plates. And by doing this, the zombies still have access to the ladder. But the ladder's protected, sort of. On one side, it is, right? If cops go up the ladder and they fall off on this side and blow up, the ladder's protected. But if they fall off on this side and blow up, it's not protected. And I was like, well, that's better than nothing, right? But then, I thought of a better idea. We'll just put plates in on this side as well, and the ladder's completely protected. Now you might say, hey, idiot, how are the zombies gonna access the ladder now? Well, that's easy. We're gonna dig down. there it is. Now the zombies can access the ladder. And if the cops are up here, getting damaged, and then they fall off, whoops, boom, and they blow up, they're not gonna damage the ladder. Just the asphalt, which, as you can see, has taken damage. Now we can repair this, which I'll do for now, but we should probably eventually replace the asphalt with concrete blocks. Because if they start blowing up the floor, that's going to be a problem. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, the zombies can just cruise right down here and access the ladder. Um, might want to replace the asphalt here with steps and blocks so they don't get stuck or caught on anything. I'm not going to do that now, but I will do that before the horde. So hopefully this doesn't screw up their pathing or screw up anything. I think it's going to work. We got to try it, right? We can't just keep doing it the way we're doing it. Otherwise, there's going to be too many cops one night, and one too many of them is going to blow up, and the ladder's going to get destroyed, and the base is going to be useless. So, could this screw things up? Yes, but we'll never know until we try it. And that's how we learn, you know? That's science, bitch. Well, there's a bunch of steel in one place. Let's get it. More sugar butts, I'll take those, and I'll take the eye candy as well. I guess I'll uh, eat the sugar butts now. Uh, I forgot to mention too, it's trader day. All the traders' inventories uh, restock. Here, Joel, you can have this stuff. Good luck selling it though. You know, because it's all bullshit. But I don't want to hold on to it anymore, so you do it. What do we got here? Shotgun shells. I should probably buy these steel arrows as well. 762. Some more pipe bombs. Those are always good. Concrete mix. Buying all of it. That's it for here. 
I can't believe we still haven't found that mod that goes in your helmet that allows you to drink, uh, murky water. I guess that's a rare thing. I would love that. But Thank you, don't have enough money for it. Let's go see the Joel north of here, and then we'll go back to our Joel in the desert. Jailbreakers, sure. What's up, Joel? You need assistance? If by assistance you mean a woman, then yes. I'm sick of looking at your scruffy face. Any idea where Jen might be? She's a little easier to look at, you know? Plus, she got them giant discounts. God. Contact grenades. Those could be fun. Ooh, repair kits. Always gotta buy those. M60, can't afford that. Alright. Let's go to the desert. Oh, look at this. I guess Moses was here. Parting the river for us. Thanks, buddy. What do we got here? This looks like, uh... A POI that you die at. Let's check it out. Are a hundred zombies gonna come attack us? No, dogs will, though. Holy shit. Yep. It was loaded, alright. Wow, a lot of dogs. We'll have to come back another time, when I have some better weapons. What's up, Joel? What do you got? I thought you might be one of the dead. Not yet. Give me some time. He's got concrete mix, but I'd rather... spend the rest of my money on ammo. Ooh, or an SMG. Oh, we can almost afford that. Well, after we do a job for him... We'll definitely be able to afford that. He's got 9mm. Uh, I don't want to spend any money, though. Not yet. Definitely want that SMG. We got plenty of 9mm. We could put that thing to work. We'll do a job for him. Thanks, anyway. We'll buy the SMG, and we'll spend whatever money we have left on 9mm. Can you help me? It's rare. All right, buddy. I will be back. Well, this is Karma coming back for me for sure. From the time I shot the coyote, then ran away from Grace. Now we can't run away. Where is Grace? There she is. All right, well. Let me, uh, grab my pipe bombs out of here. Those might help. And the steel arrows. Those will probably help us get some, uh, sneak kills. You know? We're gonna need that. Especially with the wolves. Let's check the these vending machines. That doesn't work. This one works. Uh, sugar butts, sure. Because the uh, sugar butts we ate is going to run out by the time we get back to Joel's, and we're going to want to use that to get a better deal on the SMG. Uh, yeah, why not? All right, wolves, pigs. Let's uh, go up the middle. We got snakes in here. That one's dead. This one's awake. Yeah, stick your little head out. Whoop. Got that one. Got that one. There might be a wolf in here too, though. At the end here, on the right. I'm pretty sure. Last time I was here. There was a wolf in there. Oh, doesn't look like there is one now. All the snakes are dead. And uh, we're clear. I think there are dogs in here, though. Yep. All right, let's take this fucker out. Oh, son of a bitch. I hit this pile of dead stuff. Got him. I'm pretty sure there's one on this side, too. Sweet. All right, not a bad start. If I didn't have two points into parkour, I would make a way up to the rooftop right now. Just in case, but since we can jump pretty high, I'm not worried about it. Let's see how many of these fuckers we can take out silently. There goes the dog. Oh, shit. Come on. All right, one wolf. Damn it. 
Two down. Soldiers getting up. See if we can take him out with arrows, because the sledge might wake everyone up. He dead. Let's go for this one. Oh, it's awake. Uh, yeah. Attack that block. That's the smart thing to do. I'll just stay here and fire arrows up your wolf butt. Oh, it got wise to me. Uh, let's get up here. Just die, you son of a bitch. Where's he going? Oh, here's another one. I can't reach him. Where they go? Up the middle? Get up on the roof. There we go. Okay. Where are you at, fuckers? I don't see him. Uh, I think the other wolves are up. Uh, the ones on top, and they're trying to break out of there. Where the fuck did they go? Oh, shit! Okay, they're up here. Come here, you sons of bitches. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. Attack the vending machine, dumbass. Go ahead, you do it. Yes! Oh, dude. This is it. That's how you do it. You just stand on a, a working vending machine and let them electrocute themselves. That's beautiful. Well, I never think of that before. What else is going on in here? Come on, shitheads. Over here. I'd like to get them to do the same thing. Here we go. Come on. You ever use a vending machine before, Wolf? It's easy. You just bite it. There you go. Oh, this is great. I don't think this will work with Grace, though. She's a little too big. And it's a shame we can't cook all that meat. It's gonna go to waste. Back up, lady. There's another wolf around. Here it is. Sweet. There's another one. Sounds like... It's in there, but it's not. Holy shit! It was on the roof! Get up! Okay. Come here! Bite the vending machine! Yeah, stupid! Oh god! He jumped down on me! Alright, that one's dead. And so is that one. I think that's all the wolves. Get rid of this shit. We don't need any of that stuff. We're infected, but that is what it is. This guy slept through all that. Wish I could sleep that heavy. I wake up at the slightest thing. Woke up the the other night. I, uh, I got some firearms that I brought with me to Pennsylvania. And, uh, I don't, I didn't bring any ammo, though. And I still haven't gone and, and, and purchased any ammo yet. And my wife bought this thing for our son. It's like a bath toy. It's suction cups to the side of the bathtub. And it's like a slide or whatever. And she put it on the tub one night. And, and my son was playing with it. And she left it there. She forgot to take it down. So that night, it, it fell. And this is our, our master bathroom, right? That night, it fell off the tub and made this loud sound, and, and I felt her grab me, and we both woke up, and the first thing I thought was, I don't have any ammo. You know? And then we both realized what it was, and we were like, alright, we're fine. And then I went and bought ammo the next day. All I had was like a samurai sword. I was like, I guess we're playing Choppity Chop tonight. Uh, spider zombie, let's get this shotgun reloaded. Come on. Nice. All right. Other than being infected, this, uh, this has gone pretty well so far. We're doing all right. Of course, we still have this room back here to clear. And the pigs to deal with. Take the coin. 
Oh, I see a dog. Two dogs. That one's dead. Oh. I guess there were three dogs, because one of them woke up, and now that other one's awake. Dead! Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> okay, jump up there. I tried to quick scope him. Let's use the shotgun. Here we go. Oh, shit. Man, there was another one down there. How many dogs are in this POI? All right, we got him. We got him. Come on, dude. You're not a dog. Get up. Yeah. All right, I think we're good. Eat that salmon. Take that bandage and ammo. Nice. Let's loot this room, and then we'll go wake up the pigs. Ah, more food. Grandpa's moonshine, I will sell that. Ah, more food, good. Also, a quick reminder, I am currently running a new Freaker campaign. The theme for this campaign is Fuck Off Cancer. Cancer is one of those things that I'm sure has affected all of our lives in one way or another. Most recently, for me anyway, and I'm sure a lot of you, was what happened with Tony, a.k.a. Thick44. And while he was going through his battle with cancer, he was donating to Stand Up to Cancer. It was his favorite charity. So I decided to create some Fuck Off Cancer artwork and launch this Freaker campaign and send the profits on over to Stand Up to Cancer to continue on with Tony's mission. So if you want to contribute to the campaign uh, and get some cool merch in the process, the link is down below. I think there's about 15 days left in the campaign until it comes to an end. I'll take that food. I'm not going to eat it yet, though, because I'm not hungry. Wood, fine. A few more boxes to search here, and then we'll go deal with the pigs. Oh, hey, cornmeal. Well, guess what? I got enough food now. You could fuck off on the ground. Oh, that felt good. Let's go, Grace. Your time is up. This is not the only Grace in there. I think there's two or three more, maybe. But, you know, we'll deal with one at a time if we can. Oh, don't you leave. Son of a bitch. He dead. Oh, I think she's coming back. And there's more zombies. Yeah, she's down there. Oh, we gotta be careful. She has uh, a bit of a reach on her. And she hits pretty hard. Here, catch, Grace. Right on the nose. Oh, that pissed her off. One of these days, she'll die. Oh, we got two of them in here now. That's fine. Just take our time here. Did that get one of you? Oh, that one's dead. That one looks like it's stuck, and we got a crawler, but obviously the crawler is no big deal. That one's not stuck anymore. Oh, that was shitty, kinda. Did that get you? Oh, damn it. Might have killed the crawler with that. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Not good. That's not good. Oh, we got her. Sweet. Two graces down. And, uh, I don't know. We got one more to go, maybe? Oh, what the fuck is that? What the hell? We killed that Grace. I woke her up with the rifle shot. We're getting respawns, really? What is this bullshit? Oh, fuck you, bird. This is not cool. Not cool at all. All right, I'm gonna stay on this side of the POI then. Get on the roof. Oh, maybe I can stay here. I don't know. Uh, I can't get up. Okay. Oh, sniped him out. That was sweet. Oh, God. That was stupid. 
All right, that... Grace is dead, and we're almost dead, too. Probably should use a bandage. Well, this has been really fun. What? Son of a... All right. At least we're done with the Graces. I guess we gotta kill these fuckers now. That one's dead. That one's not dead. Neither is that one. Oh, drop them! Get up. You can't reach me. You got little tiny legs. I should be on the other vending machine. It would be getting electrocuted right now, but that's alright. Jeez, pig. There we go. All right, one more. Mm. Come on. Oh, okay, back on the vending machine. All this food. If you don't know, you can get usable meat from Grace. Usually, when you do this POI, you come away with fucking like a month's worth of meat. Unfortunately, we're just going to leave it all behind. I know meat does sell, but not for that much, I don't think. So, not worried about it. That's just what we got to deal with. Oh my god, there's another one up there. That's such bullshit. Where is she at? Right here. What? This game. I swear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get up. One hit point left. <laughs> Oh, boy. I don't know how I do it, folks. I really don't. I'm unkillable. That's right. Unkillable. You heard me, Grace? You can't win. Boom. Disintegrated. Nothing left. The area is still not clear, though. Oh, shit. That's right. There's a bear in this trailer. God damn it. All right, before we go deal with that bear, let's get the loot out of this barn first. There are two yellow icons. There might be a bird I missed in the other barn. We'll go check it out. Come on out of there, you flying rats. There goes one. Just give me a shot. There goes two. Looks like there's two more in there. Come on, stick your little beak out. Three, four. Beautiful. And there's some loot in here that I missed. I'm just marking this one on the map for now. We got lockpicks back at home. We got jailbreaker candy. We'll get into it eventually. Some ammo. And the bear's awake. No coffee. Bottle of water. I think that's it. Alright. Let's get up here. Oh, I can't. I can't jump up there. Oh my god. We're going to obviously run the same defense we ran against the Graces. Luckily, bears can't climb ladders. No, oh, fuck this thing. I don't know why I brought that with me today. I'm just going to sell it to Joel. Get that thing out of here. I mean, it is cool if you throw a silencer on it and you're, you're being sneaky or whatever, or if you're going to use it to actually hunt, like, deer and stuff, but... I'm not going to do any of those things, so I might as well just sell it. Nope. Let's try this other one. We're just under 5% infected, so one jar of honey will be enough to clear it up. No luck there. 
Oh well. Hey, I'll sell that schematic. Let's just get to Joel's, I guess. I don't, uh... I don't see any other tree stumps around. I know I have honey at home, but like I said, once it gets over 5%, then you gotta use two jars to clear it up. And that seems like a little bit of a waste. But... It is what it is, you know? What's up, Joel? What's my reward? A machete? Nah. I think I'll go with the steel axe instead. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have any honey, but he's got this Wasteland Treasures book that lets you harvest honey from trees. I'm gonna buy that. That's gonna make it a lot easier to find honey now. I'm also buying the SMG. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Booyah! Level 2 SMG. I know it's only a level 2. Not that great, but way better than Thanks. using a pistol. That's for sure. We gotta start putting some points into Gunslinger now. Now yeah, let's go see if we can not find some honey. We can get it out of trees now, and there are trees everywhere. Well, I'm not saying that Wasteland Honey Book is bullshit, but yes, I am. That Wasteland Honey Book is bullshit. Well, got a lot more wood. No honey, though. It is what it is. We got honey back here. Nine jars of it. Ah, oh, that's more than I thought we had. I'm gonna have to eat another jar later. That's fine. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, it went pretty well. You know, not a bad day. I thought we were going to be able to finish Tier 4 jobs, but not yet. We're going to have to do at least one more for Joel before we unlock Tier 5. We got a Level 2 SMG. That's great. And uh, we made a good change to the base. Let's hope it works out. I still want to do a little more work to the base, though. I'll probably shoot over there um, before this night is over and get a jump on the work. And that's where we'll pick up the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lucky Looter and I will catch you guys in the next episode.